ditch effort to save a part of old growth forest at Crown Hill Cemetery. Today, environmentalists filed suit against the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs to keep the VA from removing scores of trees. Our Mary Mills tonight has more on their urgency. The VA has said it hopes to start removing trees here by month's end. The suit is intended to stop that or at least give plaintiffs more time to make their case. We are filing this legal complaint in federal court to save the only pre-settlement forest remaining in inner city Indianapolis. Those behind the suit want to preserve nearly 15 acres of old growth forest on the north side of Crown Hill Cemetery. The VA bought the land to build a monument which could ultimately hold the ashes of 25,000 Hoosier veterans. But the suit says they failed to look for alternate sites and to seek proper input from the public. This was not an accident, the way they handled this. He and others stressed it's not the monument they oppose, but the location, with many trees here long before Indiana became a state. I would wish that we would honor our veterans appropriately and the heritage that we so richly deserve in Indiana. Stant noted that one conservation group has offered to buy back the property from the VA and cover what they've already invested in the project. So the idea that there's no, that this is just not practical for the VA to look back at this point is, is just not correct. It's so discouraging to see, you know, the site-by-site -site progression of the loss of these uh, important uh, pieces of our natural heritage. We just, we just let them go without, without hardly any, any concern about it. So this is one where we're going to dig our heels in and fight back. Their hope that the judge rules quickly before any trees are removed. We're the environmentalists. We're the eternal optimists. We wouldn't be doing this if we didn't think we couldn't push this boulder up the hill. We reached out to the VA for comment but haven't yet heard back. Again, the plan was to start removing trees here at month's end with construction beginning in April. On the City Beat, Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.